Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this video and before we get started, for those new subscribers, the extra 400 or 300 that I got overnight and continue to keep building, this is how I actually sound. Not British, not Canadian, not American, not Swiss, not Portuguese, not Russian, not Slovakian. You get the picture, Australian, the, con the country so big it's its own continent, that's where I'm from, so let's get that out of the way first. I don't talk like this. But if you want, you can really thumbs up the video, and uh, it, it really helps me out. Please don't. I'm not a thumbs up whore. That's not me. That's Jeff, who is a good friend. Good friend. Um, seriously, that video, if you don't know, has over 50,000 views now. Uh, something like 5,000 likes. 300, 500 favorites, I think. Um, and it was... First, Bane Williams. Got to throw out a shout out to Adrian, the level of time, and Bane Williams. Because we thought... This video, we can turn it, or Bane thought, he could turn it into a good article to put on m g So he put it on for m g and this is apparently how the story happens. On m g if you don't know, the better the content is, and the more people that look at the content, the higher it goes in degrees. So we got it up to about 230 degrees, and then apparently people from Game Informer and Kotaku and all this other people saw it. So essentially they do what, they, what anyone would do in the industry, is just rip it off. So then that, that video was on... The front page of Game Informer, which I think I got 20,000 views from that alone. Now it's on Kotaku, where it's got over 50,000 views on that page. Uh, or that page has got over 50,000 views. Um, it had a pretty prevalent thread on 4chan. Not that I'm popular about that, but it's been 404 now. And at least it was in the video game category. You can't look at it because it's been 404, sadly. It was then, first of all, Fwiz twitted it. Twitter, I didn't know who Fwiz was, but Fwiz, I hate saying that, is the Machinima, uh, what's, what is he again? The community manager for Machinima Respawn, which is pretty cool. One of my followers on Twitter and YouTube uh, tweeted it to Wings of Redemption. Now this is where, whoops, spat everywhere. This is where I could, I could die happy, because Wings of Redemption found my video insulting. Yes. I can die a very, very, very happy man. Um, so I'd like to thank everyone out there that watched it, that thumbs it up, because it really holds me up. Um, so, that, uh, so that's good. For those of you who subscribe, just to see that guy, not me, I understand. And that's why Generic Jeff will be back soon with a video with an explosive impact. That's all I'm saying. Um, but if you've, seen a if you've seen a specific G Unit video, then you might know where we're going with it. Um, so make sure to thumbs up this video if you want to see it, because it really helps me out. That's going to be... Fuck! I can't get that out of my head. Okay, so I'd like to thank everyone for thumbsing up the video, favouriting the video. It really helped me out. Um, it did. That's the sad fucking reality of it, isn't it? See, that's how YouTube works. You thumbs it up and favourite it, and it helped me out. Son of a bitch. It's like a, it's like a cruel irony. It's a cruel irony. But this video, I want to talk about Modern Warfare 3. Um, now, Modern Warfare 3, we all know it was coming, but they've done some trailers or teaser trailers where it takes place in England, Germany, France, and America. Uh, I wish they would come to Australia, I really would, uh, just for like one little mission. Just one little mission, because I would like to see the level design. On this street corner, there would be an Outback Steakhouse. On this street corner, there would be a beer store, and, and then it would repeat, like America and Starbucks. It probably would, but that'd be funny, even though... Fuck Outback Steakhouse. Fuck that place. Boycott it. Um, and in Australia we call beer beer, not Foster's. No one here drinks Foster's. We drink Foster's by default because Foster's owns all the other beer companies. Uh, so I want to talk about... Fucking thing. I want to talk about Modern Warfare 3. Um, just a little bit of news. We've actually got a hell of a lot of news about it. Whether or not it's true or not, I don't know. Um, but you, uh, you, you go around the world as you did in Modern Warfare 3. Uh, Modern Warfare 2 to all these different countries, Germany, France, England, uh, America, and then it ends in Dubai. Uh, but the whole story has been released on Kotaku if you want to go and check it out. I haven't read it because that's the only reason I'm going to buy the game is to play single player. And if I didn't have this YouTube channel where I can talk about stuff like this, I would rent it because multiplayer I don't care about because it's being overtaken by Call of Duty Elite, which is a paid service that will get you maps and extra content earlier, or specifically only if you pay for that, but I don't think I was supposed to talk about Call of Duty Elite, so if I'm not supposed to talk about it, it's bullshit. Um, but you take the role of heaps of people, um, around the world as they take on throwaway roles as a Russian Federal Protective Service agent, 
CAS operative, tank gunner, AC-130 gunner, and as well as previous characters from the previous installments, which is pretty good because I am a fanboy of um, G Soap, uh, even though I hate the way he looks, but what can you do? Um, so, uh, da -da 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 and apparently, um, you take the role of the two most popular, the two biggest characters in the game are Frost and Sandman. Interesting, and multiplayer in the game returns with apparently well over 20 maps, and two co-op missions, or two co-op modes, uh, from Spec Ops, which is Survival and Mission. So obviously the mission part would be like it was in Modern Warfare 2, horribly boring, and survival will probably be like a mode like Nazi Zombies where enemies come at you, which is pretty cool because I always, I reckon that would be actually better than Nazi Zombies because Nazi Zombies in Black Ops for me is really hard. I don't know why, because the zombies, and so maybe if they keep throwing enemies at you, then maybe they'll have like helicopters and tanks, and, but they'll stay the same health wise, which I think would be pretty cool, um, personally. So that, that's looking pretty good. But I think, seriously, now that you guys who have watched my videos from the start know how much this hurts me to say, but Modern Warfare 3, put all my biases aside, is actually shaping up to look like a pretty good game. And that hurts me to say. Because I hated Modern Warfare 3. Hated it. And Call of Duty 4, you know, from going from Call of Duty 4, which is like what most people would consider the best first person shooter on ever, you know, to Modern Warfare 2, forget, we're just talking about Infinity Ward. It was like, it, oh my god, you know, I've done hundreds of videos on it, I'm not going to talk about it in this one. Um, so it comes out in November, as you would expect. Uh, well over 20 maps, apparently, in South Africa. You know, all around the world, these maps are based in. Which is, which is another thing I think is pretty cool, because I'm, you know, you're kind of tired of just playing in, like, Russia and America. And, you know, in these war games. So, um, and the Middle East. Which is where Battlefield's going. Speaking of Battlefield, Battlefield 3, you know, I don't even watch the footage for that. I really don't care. Like, Battlefield 3 is one of them games that you have to buy. But it's one of them games that I'm buying that I don't really give a shit about it. Sorry, I don't give a shit about anything before. Like, I don't care how it looks, I don't care how it plays, I don't care any of that because I know it's going to be a good game, so I don't watch it. So I'm just ready to buy it when it comes out. So Battlefield 3 is looking awesome. Um, future videos, i got my generic Jeff video coming, don't worry. Um, I've got reviews for different games I've had over the past couple of weeks. Dead Space 2 review, which I had Dead Space 2 if you don't know. EA gave it to me at the Dead Space event a week and a half before it came out and I still haven't beat it so I feel kind of bad so I thought I would re go through it and finish it. I'm up to chapter 6 now. That game is fucking terrifying. No, oh my god. It's terrifying. So that's my video. I'd like to thank everyone that helped, helped me out, really helped me out uh, in that other video. So thank you. Uh, more to come. Stay tuned. Until next time ladies and gentlemen, I'm out. Have a good one. Rate, comment, subscribe. Au revoir.